I wanted to also to acknowledge uh, State Representative Fred Strayhorn who has joined us. So thanks so much, and we're handing out the scissors um, to help us hold the ribbon and, and pulling back the curtains for the big reveal. 18 students from Fairview Elementary School. Everyone, the music will start, and that is the music that will lead all of us, led by the world-class Dayton Contemporary Dance Company, who will lead you to your brand new space for the Great Northwest Library. All right. Everybody have their scissors. Everybody ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, three.
There are computer areas here. Sensored lights. Outlets pop right up. <clears throat> I heard there's like 90 computers in this library. Is that? I didn't count them all, but I heard there's over 100 actually. Where's the other ones at? Children's room. Children's room. Oh, are these all just for the adults or are these? Yeah. You, did you tell me there's no more than this for the adults? There's some down there too. Where at? There's the, there's the young adults. You show me where some of these are. Because I would hope that's more than just that for. Oh, there's some in the middle here. What? Hmm. So it looks like the highest, so I guess the higher numbers are over this way then. This is definitely nice right here because they could use this, teachers could use this to teach classes, various things like that here. It'd be nice for a classroom this setup nice. of some kind, yeah. yeah. My only hope is that the other, that the old, uh, our old libraries that have been abandoned don't become havens for drugs and homeless people. We got enough vacant buildings along Salem Avenue in North Main as it is. We don't need any more. For something. Yeah, Occupy but what? At least. What? Uh, no, he said they was having some conversation to see what they were going to do. Yeah, but the thing is, don't believe the crap we hear coming out of the mouths of our politicians and our business leaders. I mean, I'd like to believe they could be repurposed because I don't. I mean, I don't want to see them get ransacked and be and get useless. Because then otherwise they're just going to have to raise them because then once homeless people get in there, squat in there. And, you know, we have enough vacant buildings here as it is. That's my big concern with the old libraries becoming abandoned. Because I, I don't, I mean, that's like I told the one person, listen, an, an alarm system is not going to stop somebody from breaking in. I mean, there's enough crime around here as it is. They don't care. They don't give a crap about some damn alarm's not going to stop somebody from getting in there. Well, I hope they occupy. At least. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm I want you to meet my cousin. Excuse me. Quiet, eh? This could be used for, like, tutors. Tutor rooms, things like that. DVD selection here. African American books.
Okay. So, how many computers does this library have uh, overall in total? It's about 80. 80? Uh huh. And probably with room to expand more in the future if we need them. Uh, well, hey, how are you doing? I would think with room to, to expand more if we have to in the future. Well, we'll see. Like, or, or, or it may be small. Well, well, the new library downtown should be able to fit about 400 uh, then. Yeah, we're not a lot down there. Here's the two to room nice room right here. Good size room. There's other rooms that can be used for that too. If you want to hop on a computer now, you can, I think. I will in a little bit. Okay. I'm doing some filming. Okay. And he actually 